What's up guys, how you doing? We got a quick amp review video. I haven't seen any reviews for the 2000 watt boss amp. I've been searching YouTube. I was kind of disappointed I couldn't find any videos, but there's a bazillion of these videos. So this is the before and after. 1100 watts running off 212s, 1200 watt max power handling speakers. Just give you guys a quick demonstration real quick what we're working with. It's a fast car, but I'm moving slow. I like my surf run. Every nigga around me should they you can get their merch on. I don't work out, but I got more paper than your bit dog. Wanna change your life? My best advice a brick of fitting on. If this type is wife, I might just let the kind of slip off. Ain't too many like me, 99% of them rip offs. On point, even at a spot, I never take my kicks off. Ask my ops how I feel to wake up daily and get shit on. You get in your feelings and make this songs. I make at your people's house outside shooting that flicks on. And I'm still good on every block I used to knock keys on Boss, I can you talk, my name ain't something that you should speak on Put out to me something just to let Johnny pull my team on My money tip for time, I ain't something to shoot at Kill something, you won't lock in with us, I thought you Alright, so that's the 1100 watt amp It sounds good, like We get some good rattling in But once I turn it past 30 you know, I'm losing a lot of clear sound, and you know, that's what we want. We want clear sound when we drive around. So, we're gonna go ahead and connect that amp and reconnect the 2000 watt amp and see how that is. So, I just took apart the 1100 watt amp. Hold on, let me show you guys this amp. We got the brand new 2000 watt amp. This thing is a beauty. I mean, it's the same exact thing, but for some reason it just feels better. I don't know why. We got um, your input level, minimum max, bass boost, crossover, low level if you want to do your high level inputs. And of course, your subwoofer control. Oh, we're running eight gauges. I'm gonna tell you guys how that works. I know you're supposed to run fours, but you know, you just gotta do what you gotta do sometimes. So. Put that there. Grab our ground wire. Swing that in there like that. Nice and flat. Take your screwdriver. You want to screw that down. You always want to make sure you have a real stable connection because when you got good speakers, you're going to rattle. And when you rattle, you're going to move stuff around. So you want to make sure it's in there good. Battery cord. I just do this little squeeze technique here and just try to slide it in there as best as possible. Tighten that down. Always want to make sure your power cord is real tight. Cause then we got your REM remote wire turn on. Lead straight to the radio. Just tells it to turn his ass on. <laughs> Excuse my language. Tighten that down. <laughs> it's looking like that ground wire. Okay, I mean, next cord is oh, right here. Got 16 gauge speaker wire cord. Gotta have a good wire cord when you got a good speaker, man. The cords are real important because if your cords aren't good, you're not getting the best sound that you want. And that is the goal to have good sound. Good sound. Um, I turned on everything on max because I was told that you need to have it on max when you run a, um run the base base knob. So, Oops, sorry, this one is giving me a little trouble. All right, that's good. I'm gonna take our. RCA cords, doesn't matter, left, right. Just plug it in there. Um, one more cord we're missing is subwoofer control. All right, so. Using that, you're gonna wanna 
come back to your battery and connect back your power, your negative terminal. Got, uh, we got a lot of fire just now, so see. Ya. All right, record the amp. So when I turn my car on, the light should turn on, and we should be good to go. Woo! All right, so we got the light is on. Funny sound coming. RCA cables are a little beat down. Okay, they're good now. Let's get a song in. Song should be playing any second now.